Severe weather continues to be a top story for us here at Weather Nation. I'm meteorologist Miranda Hilders with you on this Saturday. Happy first day of summer and it's summertime thunderstorms all across the country. We take you now to Pelican Rapids, Minnesota, a beautiful shot from yesterday and our Facebook friend Angela out there snapping a photo from a safe distance, mind you, because these storms really packed a punch. Look at that ominous shelf cloud rolling in in Kentucky. We even had reports of some wind damage out here in the Commonwealth and certainly a beautiful storm from our Facebook friend Bo Dodson out here in Illinois showcasing just how tall some of these cumulonimbus clouds can get. I love watching that vertical development, but you know there's some big hailstones coming out of those cells. And yes, indeed, we had handfuls of hail in Grand Island, Nebraska, where we picked up reports of near baseball size hail in some spots. Look at that three inch diameter hail in Rockville, Nebraska, Grand Island, two and three quarter of an inch diameter hail yesterday. And there's more where that came from as we have another severe weather threat unfolding for the rest of our Saturday. It's pretty interesting. The storm reports map pretty much clustered into the central plains. We had a lot of hail reported here in Nebraska, but that is pretty typical for this time of year to get those large rotating supercells and they pack quite a punch with all that hail. Big hailstones coming out of those even up into Minnesota as well. And then predominantly wind damage and high wind reports here in all of the blue. That's what's going to be the case through the Commonwealth of Kentucky example last night and down toward the Carolinas. Through the day today and into this evening, we have a slight risk of severe weather that now extends up the Red River Valley, up toward Grand Forks, North Dakota, just shy of the Black Hills of South Dakota, straight through the entire state of Iowa, and just shy of the Chicagoland metro area, where we will have another threat for that large hail, damaging wind gusts, and certainly an isolated tornado or two can't be ruled out as these storms begin to rotate a little bit. As we go through the afternoon hours, already seeing a couple of thunderstorms firing here across northern Illinois. Some of those could turn severe through the evening. And then another redeveloping line back here along a cold from a boundary through the Dakotas. That will begin to trek its way eastward. So northern Minnesota in for more rain, probably into the Dakotas. We'll see some of those larger, more severe thunderstorm cells. And then we still do have coastal concerns here through the Carolinas. From Charleston through Wilmington, even up toward Cape Hatteras, we have the potential for some of those water spouts, some wind damage, certainly not out of the question, and very heavy rainfall as an area of low pressure is drifting right off the coast here for us. This low will kick up quite a lot of storm activity as we move through the afternoon hours. Expect heavy downpours at times, a lot of lightning and thunder, and yes, that chance for some severe weather out of those cells before finally moving offshore, and then our skies clear out a little bit as high pressure moves in briefly. Another cold front marching across the nation means widespread unsettled weather for the eastern half of the country, and in fact, we're talking about more rainfall across portions of the U.S. that have already been soaked.